Hello and welcome to another episode of Sonoma County Climate Farmers. I'm Carissa Cruz and I work on behalf of the 1800 local family farmers, our wine grape growers, right here in this beautiful county. Back in 2019, we became the most sustainable wine region in the world. So what do you do next? We partnered with the California Land Stewardship Institute, Laurel Marcus and her team there to focus on and be the first partner for a climate adaptation certification in all of agriculture. What does all that mean? It means our local grape growers, our local farmers, are focusing on how they can farm better to lower greenhouse gas emissions and also sequester more carbon. Today, we're in the heart of Sonoma Valley. We're here at the Saras Family Ranch. It's 200 acres encompassing and rolling along the Sonoma Creek. And we're gonna learn firsthand from brother, sister, dynamic duo about what they're doing to be stewards of the land here and really thinking about how they preserve this beautiful ranch and the ranches they farm for the next generation. I was actually born on this property as were three of my five nieces and nephews, which is pretty awesome. It's something that we hold near and dear to our hearts. Yeah, I grew up on the ranch and now I got four kids actually. My two older boys are getting to the age now where they're enjoying the property and I'm pretty fortunate that we have a pretty awesome spot here in Sonoma to raise our children, you know. The ranch itself is situated in the Valley of the Moon, right in the heart of Sonoma Valley, just north of the town proper of Sonoma. This property has a lot of history to it. Starting back in the mid 1800s, General Fighting Joe Hooker was the owner, planted some grapevines, did the farming thing, kind of got sick of that, went to the Civil War. At that point, George Watrous purchased the ground. George needed a farmer, and that's where my great-great-grandfather, Jean Pierre Saris, came into the picture and lent the agriculturalist helping hand to the Watrous family. Back then, they did more dairy, row crop, fields, and that type of farming. And today, we have grapevines. The grapevines were planted in the late 80s by my father, John Saris. And today, we have about 14 different varietals that we grow here, all red grapes. And we're hoping that they're in a bottle of wine for you to enjoy soon. My parents are still in charge, but my brothers and I are definitely taking the torch to the next level. And that's where we're getting involved in different types of sustainability and climate adaptation certifications to ensure that we have this ground for future generations to come. Our plan is to have nine different hedgerows all around the ranch. It's gonna help out with the beneficials, it's gonna help out with erosion, it's gonna help out with water filtration. The best way to combat pests is with beneficial insects and once they go through and they wipe out some of those pests they need a place to go to feed or else they're just going to get wiped out themselves so it's a housing development for the good bugs so that they got a place to go after they ate all the bad bugs in the vineyard you know you're doing a good thing for the environment and it's one of the best ways to actually manage your vineyard we want to be a business for a long time and we want to be able to farm for a long time so you have to implement all these things that are good for the environment and that are good for sustainability, you know, you're gonna just get passed by someone else if you don't do all the stuff that you need to do and everyone is doing, you know. We're here at the Saris Ranch in beautiful Sonoma Valley. The family here has completed a climate farm plan. The plan has basically three elements to it. The first one is how they manage their vineyards. They use what's called conservation tillage, which means every other row is tilled, and in that row, we have grasses growing year round. And when you have all those cover crops growing, it helps to sequester soil carbon. The second part is planting beautiful native California hedgerows that flower in the summer and also will support beneficial insects. And the third part is looking around at this ranch, you see so many oak trees. The family decided that they wanted to keep a lot of the natural vegetation here. Sonoma Creek, which is a major tributary to San Francisco Bay, flows through the ranch. It has a beautiful riparian corridor made up of 100-year-old oaks. And even in their vineyards, they have oaks. A lot of places don't always retain these trees. And each one of these trees is taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and sequestering it in its biomass. Finally, when you look at the Saris Ranch and its surroundings, you see that there's a lot of new urban development going on around this area. So by keeping the Saris Ranch economically healthy and allowing it to preserve this beautiful environment, we keep all the wildlife healthy and we have this major carbon benefit. 
It was so great hearing from Buck and Taylor and being out here on their family farm today and learning how our local Sonoma County grape growers are being part of the climate solution. But you may be asking yourself, what do I do at home? Whether you're in a big city or out in rural part of our country, well you too can be part of our climate solution. What do I recommend? Something super, super simple today. It is time to use reusable bags, reusable water bottles. Let's not invest anymore on things that we throw away. Let's make sure we're investing in things that we can use over and over again. I know we're doing our part. We're asking you to do your part. Join us in being part of the Sonoma County Climate Movement.